To be fair, I, I do make some questionable life choices. Um, about four years ago, I made a horrible mistake. Okay, I read an article in The Guardian, I acted on it, and now I live on a narrowboat. <laughs> this is quite common in London now, isn't it? People can't afford to live, live in places with plumbing. Um, and you can tell that nobody really wants to live on a narrowboat, because if you look at the names, they all stink of redundancy or divorce. <laughs> They've all got names, they'll be called things like serendipity. Oh. <laughs> New beginnings. Oh, that's a sad story. <laughs> the break of dawn. Who was dawn? <laughs> honestly, I'm more next one at the moment. It's, it's honestly called She Took Everything. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's good. It, it makes you, it turns you into a tough cookie. You know? <laughs> Oh, it's just coronavirus, it's fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. There's, there's lots of positives. Um, mostly being covered in oil all the time. Fantastic. Uh, it, really what I'm trying to say is I'm not a feminist anymore. I don't know if there's any feminist... For me, feminism can suck a dick. You know, that's where I've got to. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I, I'm in couch end now, Chris, all right. Um, now I've, I've done my time. I mean, I was. I was very... I was very... I was into it when I was younger, I was quite militant actually. Um, at university I wrote my dissertation on women's embodied experience and the impact of cosmetic surgery. <laughs> oh, I was fun. Um, I'm not going to go on about it, but the gist of the paper, like what I was trying to say in that paper uh, was basically... <laughs> I don't feel that way anymore. I don't feel that way anymore. I think now if you're going to dismantle the patriarchy, make sure you've done all the plumbing first. <laughs> they are useful, aren't they? They are. They are. They are useful. Um, so I've got to the point now where I, I think the average feminist is just a woman sitting in an air-conditioned office saying, I can do anything Tim can do. And that's absolutely true, isn't it? She can do anything Tim can do, but this week... Tim's been to hot yoga, bought a face cream, and done some typing. <laughs> it's not trench warfare, Sharon. Okay. Um, so I don't know. I've, it's, it's affecting my love life as well. I'm, I'm dating, aren't we all? Why isn't there a helpline? Um, and I've sort of, I've got to the point where I think I just want some pagan dick that can get rid of spiders. You know? <laughs> Is that still an option? I don't, I don't know. We're all, we're all the same now, aren't we? Are we? Um, so I've, I've been on the horror app, Tinder. Hopefully nobody's heard of it. Uh, it's terrible. It's the blood sport. And I, I, just, I think I want to leave. I want to, I'm going to leave Tinder. I'm better than this. And, and then I realised, no, they're just going to keep you in out there with positive, occasional, intermittent reinforcement. You know, sort of like a rat trapped in a 1950s B.F. Skinner experiment. <laughs> One more swipe, I might get a food pellet. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> and the problem is, you do get food pellets, you know, just, just every now and again, you know, that's how they, they keep you in. And I had a food pellet recently. I matched with this guy, well done me. Uh, and then I found out he was an actor. Oh. Hazards of London, isn't it? And then he found out I do this, uh, and he was very excited, and he said, hey, let me send you my show reel. <laughs> mm. Why can't you just send me a picture of your knob, you creep? <laughs> <laughs> okay, press it away. Thanks a lot.